Okay, what I'm going to show you today is the uh, end result of about a month's work on building what I call the AFC-1, or an airflow calorimeter. Uh, what I'll do is show you the completed unit to begin with, and then I'll tear it apart and show you basically how it was put together. Uh, this resulted from a forum discussion on building a unit that would be uh, responsive to airflow and the delta T or differential in temperature between the input and output. What I have here is on this end is a muffin fan and you can see that it's mounted right there with that collar. It goes through that tube. What we have here is a uh, NIST traceable temperature probe which goes to these little units here. They have a 0.1 uh, degree C uh, calibration accuracy. Here's the A to D converter unit and over here on the side is a, a 1 ohm large 1 ohm resistor which I'll explain later and the connections are all done here. The computer hooks into uh, this USB port here and the exit tube here here's another uh, traceable probe which I use for doing calibration and in here you're going to see a large heat sink with a copper core. Actually that's a CPU heat sink that came with the muffin fan and I will explain that later in the series. I'm going to probably have to do a couple of videos on this. But I just wanted to show it to you. It's a box. It has the muffin fan which sucks air in. All of the uh, thermistors and temperature measurement of input air is on this side of the fan so that I'm including the the actual temperature generated by the fan itself with the input air. In other words, whatever is coming in here, if nothing's going on inside the box, should be coming out here. So we can adjust the balance of the box. The whole purpose of this, obviously, is to put a device inside and while the air is moving through there, taking the heat with it, to measure that differential and once it's calibrated then of course we'll be able to understand uh, the actual power consumption of the device internally. So anyway that's a pretty good view of what it is. It's a fairly large box but you'll see how I've got it configured. I have these very uh, technical straps here to hold the lid on. You can see that's all that's necessary. But what I'll go ahead and do is go ahead and take this thing down and uh, we'll take a look at it a little closer. Okay, I've removed my fancy hold downs here and I'll take this lid out. You can see it fits quite, quite tight. And you can see the insulation is double thickness and I have foil on the top. And now as we get down inside the box, what you're going to see is there's the outlet there's where the air comes in. And these sections here are all removable. This allows me to uh, put a small device in there and not have to heat this whole area up. Uh, it, it adds to the functionality of the box. Both sides are that way. I can remove these panels. And what you see fixed down here is a 10 ohm 25 watt resistor. And what that's used for is the calibration. Uh, what we'll do is start the unit up, get the air flowing through it, get it uh, to where the intake air measures the output air. When everything's at equilibrium, we'll then turn the resistor on and we can calculate the differential as a result of the energy being uh, produced in, as heat internally in the box. If we put something in here like a sec exciter or some other device, I would leave the resistor in there. I don't want to disturb the airflow. There's a lot of idiosyncrasies about this particular unit. The speed of the fan, the ambient temperature, the size of the, the chamber itself, they all came into play in actually making this thing end up working. And the calibration, of course, was somewhat tedious. But anyway, that's basically what it is. It's, it's a nice, uh, nice little compact box, well insulated. You can see that here. The insulation on the top. When you put a device in, it's easy enough to seal the wires coming out of here. And this particular device now, I've actually got it to a point where I'm ready to move it into the other area and start doing work with it. Uh, I can measure 
down to a 100 milliwatt difference. So I think it's going to be more than sufficient for using with uh, the types of devices that, that I develop and work with. So anyway, that's the AFC-1 or the airflow calorimeter. Thought you might enjoy seeing that. And the fan, I might add, is a variable speed fan. I software control that here. And the current going into the, the actual calibration resistor is measured across that large one ohm there. I've taken this in up to 25 watts and it seems to work fine. Uh, also, what I'll do is take and show you now actually where these components came from. This is actually what uh, comprises the functionality of the whole box. You can see this this heat sink here with that large copper core in it. Uh, the heat sink easily snaps out of this framework and then I cut the, the retaining legs off and then use that coupler to mount just the fan body in the one end drilled into that copper core and mounted the thermistors in the core. And that gives you a fairly stable temperature reading. Although my thermistors ended up being quite sensitive and I'm able to actually see <laughs> fluctuations in the temperature a bit more than I wanted to see, but of course using a nice algorithm we can smooth that out. But anyway, that's kind of where, where it all came from. And the other is pretty basic, A to D converters, uh, the software to support it, and I'll do a little video on what the software looks like.